sutures and fundnels of fetal skull there are four sutures for the fetal skull the first one sagittal or longitudinal suture second one coronal suture third one frontal suture fourth one lambdoid sutures the first suture is sagittal or longitudinal suture it lies between two parietal bone so the sagittal sutures or longitudinal sutures it lies between two parietal bones and second suture is the coronal suture coronal suture runs between parietal and frontal bone the coronal sutures runs between parietal and frontal bone on either side that is the coronal suture and third suture is the frontal suture frontal suture lies between two frontal bones frontal suture lies between two frontal bone you can see the picture then lambdoid suture that that is in the back it separate the occipital bone and two parietal bones lambdoidal suture that separate the occipital bone and two parietal bone what is the importance of the sutures the sutures this will permit gliding movement of one bone over the other during molding of the head a phenomenon of significance while the head passes through pelvis during labor the importance of suture is while during the labor the sutures that will helps to gliding movement one bone over the other that is known as the molding and this will help the labor process become easy and second importance of this suture is digital palpitation sorry digital palpation of sagittal suture during internal examination in labor that give importance or that give clear idea regarding the engagement of head and another important thing in fetal skull is fundnel there are four fundnel is present but two fundnel are very important the fundnel means it is the wide gap in the suture line it is called fundnel in this picture you can see mainly two fundnel that is lambda and the brachma the first one anterior fundnel anterior fundnel otherwise known as brachma it is formed by joining of four sutures in midline the sutures are anteriorly frontal posteriorly sagittal on either side coronal the shape is like a diamond its anterior posterior and transverse diameter measures approximately 3 cm each and it will be closed or ossified at 18 months after birth so the main importance of brachma or the anterior fundnel it become the shape of the fundnel is diamond shape and it is closes or ossified at 18 months after birth and it helps the same as sutures it helps in the uh, 
it helps to identify the degree of flexion of the head and also facilitate the molding of the head and accommodate brain growth and collection of blood and exchange transfusion are rarely done in the, do, uh, with the fundanelli so uh, sometimes cerebrospinal fluid can be drawn through anterior fundanelli the impo main importance is molding of the head and accommodation of the brain growth next one posterior fundanelli posterior fundanelli it is formed by junction of three suture line sagittal sutures anteriorly and lambdoid suture on either side it is triangular in shape and measures 1.2 into 1.2 cm it its floor is membranous and becomes bony at the so in posterior fundanelli the posterior fundanelli shape is triangular and it denotes the position of the head in relation to maternal pelvis posterior fundanelli it will closes at 1 and 1/2 months of age it ossified at 1 and 1/2 months of age and sagittal fundanelli there, there is no clinical significance for that so mainly the fundanelli are the anterior fundanelli and the posterior fundanelli anterior fundanelli otherwise known as brachma posterior fundanelli otherwise known as lambda and it is triangular in shape and it is ossifies at 1 and 1/2 months of age and the main sutures are the sagittal or longitudinal suture coronal suture frontal suture and lambdoidal sutures thank you